Before we get into it, I do want to drop a little bit of information about what's coming down the pipe. I have a couple of review videos coming out geared around rack mount hardware for smaller units. Because let's face it, Forti gates are getting so strong now that even the smaller entry level units are capable of being top of rack for miscellaneous things. I also have a video coming out that's going to review what I find to be a pretty damn high quality book specifically about FortiGate. I don't normally recommend hardcover books for technology that has such rapid succession software because let's face it, by the time you buy a book about 40 OS 6.2, 6.4, 6.6, 7.0, whatever is going to be out, so that book kind of doesn't have a long lifetime, right? But this particular one, they did such a phenomenal job. I'm going to post it and let you uh, guys see it. But anyways, stay tuned for the video. I hope you enjoy it and uh, leave your comments below. Thanks. Hey guys, Mike here from Fortinet Guru. This video isn't going to be specifically targeted towards Fortinet gear, but it is going to be targeted to why you suck at your job or why you're not as good of a network engineer as you say you are or why your employers are most likely disappointed with the quality of work that you put out. And it's, it's not really something where it's me bashing people or saying that you're a shitty engineer or anything like that. It's more so um, me realizing the more I work in the industry and the more stuff that I come across that you guys are doing it wrong. And it's, it's very simple to, to actually dive in and explain that. So what do I mean when I say that you're doing it wrong? A major part of what I do whenever I make videos like this is I join miscellaneous Facebook groups, forums, anything that can help spread the content's viewership, right? Anybody that I think would find it useful. You know, it would add value to them. It would make their life better, help them become better at whatever they're doing related to Fortinet gear or cybersecurity or information security in general. Now, obviously, Anytime you're digging through a whole bunch of Facebook groups, you come across all the crappy ones. And I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. Most of you haven't got a clue on what you're doing. You're looking for the easy way out. Now, for those of you that actually know what the hell you're doing, you actually do things the right way, you're probably a little bit confused right now. Mike, what do you mean? Most groups that I see on Facebook and message boards and things of that nature, you guys aren't looking for how to do things. You're looking for how to pass the test. Someone please post dump for latest NSE4. Thanks. Can someone please post dump for CCMP? Can someone please dump CISSP questions? All you're learning how to do is memorize answers and questions so that you can pass a test that says you have more capability than you actually do. Because let's face it, if you actually knew what the hell you were doing, you wouldn't need the test dump because you would already know how to do those things. I hold zero Fortinet certifications. I guarantee you, I get more work than most people that have NSE 5, 6, 7s, 8s, etc. Because when people talk to me, they know I actually understand what I'm talking about. Paper certs are a dime a dozen, and all they do is make the market look bad. Now, I probably shouldn't be asking you people to actually do right because the more crummy engineers out there, the more people are going to end up coming to me for work. But I feel that we've reached a point where there's not enough good engineers out there to take on all the load and people are getting screwed over time and time again because you are only concerned about passing a test, not actually learning the how, the why, and the background information necessary to understand what you're doing. It's shame on you. You could do better. For those of you that actually learn the material and use various things for study material, like study guides, uh, practice questions, not dumps, because you see lots of good quality practice questions out there, but you see people, most of which, are looking specifically for the dump that is 
valid. And that's not the way to do things. You guys can keep doing that. You can keep building up a shitty reputation in IT in your local area because you don't actually know what you're doing. And I'll keep taking your clients, making tons of money with them, and giving them a quality of service that's infinitely better than what you could. The choice is really up to you. So what's it going to be?